How's it going everyone? My name is Chips and in this video I'll be showing you how to build this giant cryopod that you see in front of you now. And for those of you that are new to the channel, this is going to be a step-by-step walkthrough video with voiced over instructions so you can get this build on your arc. And as you can see on the screen right now is a full list of building materials you will need for this build as well as the map cords where I built this on Lost Island. You can also find all of this information in the description below if you would like to quickly copy and paste it over to your own device. And I want to say a huge thank you to my friend Kurigan of Sua, who originally came up with this design and gave me permission to put my own spin on it and make a tutorial so that you all can get this build as well. But anyways, with all of that out of the way, I just want to tell you all thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and let's go ahead and let's get to building. All right, we're gonna start off by placing our foundation. So we're gonna start off by placing two regular tech foundations, just like this. We'll then come to the side of one of these and place three tech triangle foundations in a line like this. So it should look like that. Go ahead and add two more regular tech on the side of those and just continue doing this alternating pattern until we reach our start point. Now we're gonna come inside of this ring of foundations and in front of the triangles, we'll just place one more triangle. And in front of the regular tech foundations, we'll add one more tech in front of each one and just continue doing this. Now you can just go ahead and fill in that centermost portion with tech triangle foundations. And then once you have all of those placed, go ahead and switch all of those regular tech foundations to block. Now we're gonna come back into where we have a set of the regular tech foundations and we're going to add a tech fence foundation right here on this edge. We'll go ahead and then place a wooden pillar right here on the middle and then we will snap two thatch foundations out from that wooden pillar like this. Now go ahead and pick up that first foundation we placed as well as the wooden pillar. So you should be left with this one thatch foundation by itself. We're gonna now go ahead and skip the triangle foundations as well as the regular ones right here and come to this set of triangles and place another tech fence foundation on this triangle foundation. Go ahead and then place a wooden pillar again right here in the middle and do the same thing with the thatch foundations. Now we're gonna go ahead and skip these regular foundations, skip these triangles, and again on this regular foundation, go ahead and place another tech fence foundation and do the same process. And now we will go ahead and skip these triangles, skip these regular foundations, and again right here on this triangle, we'll do the same thing. We will now come back into one of these spots that we were just working on and right in front of those tech foundations we will add a tech triangle foundation in front of this one and this one leaving that middle spot open now coming in from the thatch foundation we will add a thatch ceiling just like this and then we will add a tech ceiling coming in from that and you'll see it will be able to cross even on official settings you can then go ahead and pick up or destroy this thatch ceiling as well as this thatch foundation and once you have both of those gone, you'll be left with something that looks like this. So we're gonna go to the other three spots where we place those thatch foundations and do the same thing. All right, next we're gonna come back into one of these spots with the two triangle foundations sticking out. And on the outside edge right here, we're gonna go ahead and add five high tech walls. We'll come to the other one right here and do the same thing on this outside edge. 
Now we're just going to go around the build and in the other three spots where we have the two triangle foundations sticking out, we'll do the same thing. All right, now we're going to come back in here between where we have these walls and we're going to actually be crossing some walls right here in the middle. So if you're on official settings, it is very important that you follow along and do this exactly as I do it. If you're on unofficial settings and you have no clip enabled, it doesn't really matter what order you do this in. So for official settings, folks, we're first going to go ahead and place a tech wall on this tech triangle foundation and right here on this one as well. We'll go ahead and add four more on top of each of those to get them five high total. Now we're going to come back down here to the bottom and where we have that regular ceiling sticking out, we'll get out another tech wall and you'll see they are able to cross. I am playing with no clip disabled. So this is able to be done on official settings. And you'll see you have them all stacked up there five high. We're going to go ahead and do this on the other three sides. Now before we do this on this one, I'm going to show you how it will not work if you try to place it on the ceiling first. So if we place it on the ceiling and then we try to cross it, you'll see it will not work. So you do have to place those tech triangle foundation walls first and then the ceiling. Next, we're going to come back in here to one of our columns and on the spot where we have the four high and five high wall connecting, we're going to go ahead and get out a tech triangle ceiling and place it just like this. So it's crossing into that wall. We'll then go ahead and place a tech wall on the outside ledge of it. So it should look like that. Now we're going to come down here to the ground level and get out a tech stair. And we may need to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get the one that's hanging down from our tech ceiling just like this. Go ahead and then switch that to ramp. So you now should have something that looks like this. So we're going to go ahead and do this on the other three sides as well. Now on whichever side you want to be the entrance of your build, we are first going to come to the left of the column here on this tech triangle foundation and add a tech door frame filled in with a tech door. We'll then add three tech walls on top of it and we will place a tech stair out in front of it. We're now going to go ahead to the right of the column and do the same thing on this tech triangle foundation. Now on the remaining three spots in both of these openings, we're going to go ahead and add four high tech walls. We will now go to the other two openings and add four high tech walls on all four spots of both of these openings. Now we're going to come to the inside of where we have those four high walls we just placed and we're essentially going to be adding a ring of ceilings going around the inside of the build in the first spot. So starting off right here, we're just going to follow the pattern we have on the ground. So right here we have regular tech foundations, so we'll place regular tech ceilings in these two spots. Then right here we'll add three tech triangle ceilings. We'll then add two regular tech ceilings again right here. And like I said, we'll just follow the pattern on the ground and just continue making this ring all the way around until we reach that start point. Now we're going to come again to the inside of that ring 
and we're going to start off on a side that has one of the columns with the regular tech ceilings behind it. We're going to drop a thatch wall down from each of those tech ceilings right there, just like that. We'll go ahead and do that on the other column that has the regular tech ceilings behind it. And now on all of these remaining ceilings going around the build, we're going to drop a tech wall down from each one. And we're just doing this with the thatch walls because in those spots, we will end up destroying the walls. So we're just using thatch to save you some resources. All right, so this next step is probably going to be the hardest step of the entire build. However, it is a necessary step to get a really cool effect on the end of the build that will really tie this whole thing together. So what we're going to do is head inside of the build to the area where we have this column in front of the triangle ceilings and foundations. And to the left of that where we have the regular ceiling and foundation, we're going to go ahead underneath the ring and add another regular tech ceiling in this spot right here. Now we're gonna go ahead and get out a wooden pillar and we're going to drop it down from that ceiling. So just like this. So when you come to the top of that ceiling, you'll see it sticking through a little bit. We're going to add another regular tech ceiling on top of that pillar now. So it should look like that. Now we're gonna drop another wooden pillar down from that ceiling. So it should place just a little bit above the original pillar and it'll stick through. Go ahead and add another ceiling on top of it. And do this step one more time. So you should now have a stack of four ceilings there. Now what we're going to do is basically create another ring just below the original ring that we created. So first right here attached to that ceiling, we'll get out a tech triangle ceiling. And what you're going to want to do is rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get it on that fourth high ceiling right there. Go ahead and add two more to the side of that. And then, like I said, just create another ring just below the original ring, following the same pattern as the ring above. And then again, where you get here to the spot where we started, you may need to rotate the snap point, but you're going to be looking for that spot that is the fourth highest ceiling right here so that it all connects together. Now to cover up that wooden pillar, we're just going to go ahead and get out a tech wall and drop three down from each side of that ceiling. Next, we will come back to the inside of our ring in any spot other than the one where we placed those four ceilings. So that column right there. So we'll start off right here. We're gonna go ahead and get out a tech ceiling and we're going to be looking for the snap point that is sort of halfway up our wall, right like this. That is actually attaching to that second ring of ceilings that we placed behind the walls. So we're gonna go around to every spot now and we're going to use regular tech ceilings in every spot. So even right here where we have the triangle ceilings below, we're going to use a regular tech ceiling now and just cross it over with the other one we already placed. So go ahead and do this in each spot going around the ring. Now when we get to that original column that we placed, just be careful and make sure you're getting the ceiling that's lining up with the rest of the ring we placed. And then go ahead and fill in this spot as well. Now you can go ahead where we have those thatch walls on those two sides and you can destroy those thatch walls. Next, we're going to come in here to one of the spots where we have that opening from where we destroyed those thatch walls. And right here on this corner ceiling, we're going to go ahead and place a tech triangle ceiling coming in from that. We'll then go ahead and place a tech regular ceiling to the side of it. So it's kind of lined up with the middle of those two ceilings. Add another triangle to the side of that. And then we're going to get out another regular tech ceiling and we're going to be placing it attached to that one coming inward so that it crosses with the middle of those other two ceilings. And you will be able to place that even on official settings. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing on this side where we have that other opening. Now 
Now we're going to go ahead and to the side between one of these two sections, we're going to go ahead and add a regular tech ceiling right here, another one right here, and one more right here, and do the same thing over here on this side. Now to fill in the middle, we're going to start off right here where we have one of these tech ceilings like this and place a tech triangle ceiling coming in from it and just continue placing these attached to each other to fill this in. All right, now we're going to head back into that initial ring we placed, the one that's a little bit higher up. And we're going to go ahead and drop a tech stair down from one of these tech ceilings so that it goes into the center portion of our roof here. Go ahead and drop one of these down from each one of these ceilings going around this initial ring we placed. And then once you have all of these placed, go ahead and switch all of these stairs to ramp. All right, now we're going to come to the top of one of our columns and we're first going to go ahead and fill in these three triangle spots with tech triangle ceilings. Now we're going to go ahead and hang a regular tech ceiling out like this and one more right here. And then we will come over here to the side and drop a tech wall down from that ceiling and do that on the other side as well. So it should now look like this. So we're going to go ahead and do this on the other three columns as well. All right, now we're going to come back to the top of one of our columns, starting off on one of the sides that has the regular tech ceilings and that ceiling right here that is kind of crossing with the other two. Now, if you're on official settings, you need to follow along exactly as I do this. So the first thing we're going to do is get out a tech wall and fill in these two spots. Then we're going to get out a sloped tech wall right and place it right here on that middle ceiling. Go ahead and place a sloped tech wall left on the other side of that ceiling and then just go ahead and fill in between them with a sloped metal roof. We're going to go ahead to the opposite side to the other one that has the two regular ceilings. And I'll show you real quick. If you were to place those sloped tech walls first and then try to place your regular wall, you'll see it will not work. So on official settings, you want to make sure you place those regular walls first. We'll now go ahead to one of our other ones over here where we have the triangles. And now we're just going to go ahead and drop a wall down from that ceiling like this. And then go ahead and again, place your sloped tech wall right, sloped tech wall left, and fill it in with a sloped metal roof. Go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Now we're going to come back to that upper ring and we're going to get out a tech fence foundation. And you may need to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system, but you want to make sure you're getting it on the ceiling, not the stair. Go ahead and place one on these two as well. Again, making sure you're getting it on the ceiling and go ahead and do this on the other three sides on this inner side of the ring. Now we're going to go ahead here to the outside of the ring and do the same thing, just placing them on the outside of the ceiling now. So again, you may need to rotate through the snap point to get the one we want, but just go ahead and place them on all four of these spots, making sure you're getting it on the ceiling and do this on the other three sides as well. Once you have all of those placed, we're going to head back to the inside of the ring here. And this triangle ceiling that's right here, kind of closest to the middle of this side, we're going to go ahead and get out a tech catwalk. And again, you may need to rotate through your snap point, but you're going to want to find this one right here. Go ahead and place that down. You may need to move around and rotate the snap point to get it to work. There we go. So just like that, we'll go ahead to the other three sides and place it on that same triangle ceiling. So the one that is closest to the middle.
All right, everyone, that is gonna do it for the building portion of this video. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply a paint scheme, which obviously for this build, the paint scheme is very important to get it to look exactly like a cryopod. So when I show you guys the paint scheme, I will actually tell you exactly what colors and what zones I painted for each piece. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and apply that paint scheme, stick around for one more second, and I will show you what I come up with. All right, everyone, so like I said, I have gone ahead and applied a paint scheme, and I'm actually gonna walk you through and tell you exactly what I did, as it is so important that we get this accurate to make it look like a cryopod. So I used two colors for this. I used the cyan color to get all of the blue parts, and I used the slate color to get all the metal parts. Now you could also use silver for the metal if you want it to be a little bit lighter. I just think it looks a little bit better with the darker metal color. So I'm first gonna tell you all of the parts that I did 100% all of the zones with the slate color. So first, these foundations here on the wall portions, those foundations are done 100% with the slate color as well as the stair right here on each side. All of the foundations in the middle of the build once we go inside are also 100% with the slate color. As we go up to the top here, the top of our columns, so these walls on the very top, as well as these ceilings, the walls on this inside over here, those are all 100% slate as well as this sloped metal roof and the sloped tech walls right there are 100% slate. This ring of, of ceilings that we have going around right here are all 100% slate as well as that catwalk and also the outside tech fence foundations are also 100% slate. And then also all of those ramps or stairs that we transformed into ramps that we have dropping down into the middle are all 100% done with slate. Now for the parts that are 100% done with the cyan color, obviously our roof here on the very top is all cyan, as well as that inner ring of tech fence foundations are also all 100% cyan. We'll go ahead back down to the side and you'll see obviously these walls are 100% cyan, as well as the sides that have the door frames and the tech doors, those are all 100% cyan as well. Now for the parts that are mixed, as we go in here, oh, sorry, I did forget. This part right here, these inner walls right here are 100% cyan as well. Now for the parts that are mixed. These walls going up the column, all but zone three are painted with the slate color and then zone three is painted with the cyan color. And that is the same thing for that foundation at the bottom of them. And that's the same for all sides. And then this stair that we transformed into a ramp right here, Zone one is painted with the cyan color and all of the other zones are painted with the slate color. And that is everything that would be mixed. So the only other thing I've done on the outside that I did not show you in the tutorial portion of this video, because quite frankly, I didn't think of it until I was painting, I thought to add it and I think it looks really good, is where we place those catwalks. If you look at the cryopod, it has sort of like a little small lip on the middle portion between each of the columns which is what we were going for with the catwalk. But I actually went ahead and added artifact stands at the very end of it, and I think it kind of helps out to get that effect. So if you wanna go ahead and add those artifact stands, I think it adds a little bit more to it. You don't have to though, if you do not want to. And I haven't really done anything inside, but we'll show you the inside anyways. I did just go ahead and throw down a bunch of cryopods just for the irony of it, cryopods within a giant cryopod. And then I did paint that column over there again with the slate color and all of this inner ring of walls coming down with the slate color. And then, like I said, the entire floor is painted with the slate color as well. But it's a pretty big open space in here. You could use this as a cryopod storage. You could definitely turn it into a house if you wanted to. This It's a pretty, pretty good sized open room, so you could really use this for almost anything that you really wanted to. All right, everyone, that is going to do it for this video and build. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this done on your arc. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Leave me some feedback in the comments below on what you think. And guys, if you're new to the channel, go check out some other builds. And if you like what you see, subscribe for future arc Let's Build videos. Also, make sure you check out the description for a link to my Twitter as well as my Discord, where you can stay up to date with me and come hang out with me and all of my friends. But anyways, with all of that said, I just want to tell you all, thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video. And have a great day.